Hello, and welcome back to a new season of Let's <laughs> React. Uh, what are we watching today? Are you going to introduce us? Oh, We're sure. not doing introductions in season two. Yeah, no. I'm Kenny, and this is Montana. And today we're going to be reacting to season two, episode one of Korra, Rebel Spirit. Uh, it already says the word spirit in the title, and the book two is called Spirit, so we're assuming it's going to delve into the spirit. We didn't see a lot of that last season. If you like our Korra series and are excited for us to start this new season, make sure to like and subscribe down below. For reaction content every Thursday and Sunday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you want early access or want to ask us questions after episode, you can join our Patreon, which is linked below. All right, I'm excited for this episode. How are you feeling? I'm looking forward to it. I think it's going to be great. All right, let's get it. Let's go. Underheads, this video was brought to you by the incredible members of the Let's React Patreon. If you want access to a ton of exclusive perks, check out the link in the description below. Have a good day, Twinkle Toes! Six months ago, Avatar Korra defeated Amon Six months ago. Then the council was disbanded and the United wow. Republic elected its first president. President? Jensen's brother, Commander Boomy, retired and moved to Air Temple Island. And Korra and her boyfriend, Marco, have been the talk of the town. Oh boy. Boyfriend. So Why are they the talk of the town? Why does everyone care so much? Dangers threatening the Southern Water Tribe. Uh oh. Honk. Honk. Keep your eyes peeled, You never know what creatures lurk in the murky depths. Oh, this guy's a famous voice actor. That guy's. Oh, for real? Yeah. On God? <laughs> oh. Oh my goodness. A creature. What is that? What the hell is even that? A creature. But what is it? In the depth. It looks spirit-y. It has that blue tint. Yeah. But it's just grabbing everything. Oh, no. Well, oh. remember the hay by. Right. Oh. New music. This is a cool intro. All right. Rebel spirit. It really reminds me of the West pro -bending, intro. Still. More pro-bending. Okay. Didn't we ask about that? Oh, well, yeah. The fire ferrets are still back. They're still... Wait, can she airbend? Is she gonna... Very interesting. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh no, it's just Bolin, because they're not playing anymore, yeah. I guess. Oh no! That... Not what you want to see. No. No. <laughs> What's Whoa. Mako doing? Is that him? Why the did box? they cut to him right after they said Mako? That makes me think it's Mako. No, it's Ma- That's Mako? Oh, jeez. What, what is, is he, he up bike? to? This is kind of cool, though. Interesting cutaway. See, this is what I wanted to see. More like mobsters using their power. Mm -hmm. Just like, you know, for casual 100 percent It doesn't have to be the end of the world every time. People would use it for smaller- that, ooh. that was cool. All right. So maybe uh, Asami's oh, been teaching boy. him how to drive stuff. That would be cool. Dang. So he and Asami are Look just good this, now. Though. Does no one care about breakups in this universe? Yeah, I guess it's just. You just break up and you're totally fine being friends and I teaching so. like your cool bending things. But this was kind of cool. Yeah, this is very. I. This is so cool to watch. Looks like you had some car trouble. Good thing the police are. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! Oh, he's the police! Yeah. Cool, but... Queen. I think these planes are finally ready to ship. I hate to mention okay, the has she taken over the Sato Empire? No oh. Yikes. Don't worry. I'm going to the South Pole to meet with someone who can help us put Future Industries back on top. Okay. That's very cool. All right. Oh. Aww. Yeah. I guess That's got to be so hard because how do you overcome like a reputation stain like that? Yeah, exactly. Ah, oh, babe. Oh, she she can do answer. it. <laughs> She's okay. holding an infant. The baby. Wow. Oh. Oh, I love her. Oh, she can't, can't fucking compete. I just can't. Oh, avatar. wait, she can just go into the avatar state? I, I thought you had to be, like, super now. threatened to do that. No, you can use it at will if you've mastered it. Oh, wow. And it's Boomy. Wow. No fair. You 
Right? Why not? I Why can't you just use it whenever you want? If you have the ability, it'd be best to just use it to master it. I feel like the same logic, if, if it was so sacred, should be applied to like airbending. Like you shouldn't ever practice it. Like, or maybe Tenzin's fine. Right? It's not like you only have so much in the tank. That right? Is true. Like, it might lead to like an abuse of power, maybe. Right. But is it, that's like a you problem. But same. that's not a reflection of using it too much. That's like it getting to you. She was using it directly in a situation where she was like, I can't do this thing. If I can use the avatar state, it'll give me the thing I need to. It's almost like steroids. Personally, I think I, what's the big harm? The big harm. I do the big harm, yes. <laughs> I see small harm, not big harm. It do be big harm, man. Why use many words when, when small, small word, word do, do trick? trick. It's the avatar state, and I'm the avatar. Yeah, she is the avatar. She's more than me. Clearly, you need more training to grasp the depths of your spiritual connections. Not to mention that you're still a long way from mastering airbending. I hmm. have mastered airbending. Punch, punch, punch. Wow. That doesn't punch you. That's like do force wise, yeah. That's pretty good to me. Is it too late for you to unretire from the United Forces? The payment's <laughs> gone through, little brother. Oh well, god. What a duo. Time. Can you imagine them as kids? I can well it's like Katara and Sokka. It really does seem like Katara and Sokka, but like yeah. they didn't become like the best of friends. Boomy seems a little more chaotic. Mm -hmm. Well, he would have to be. He's named Boomy. Yeah, that is true. You're not named Boomy and then you're you're, 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 you're just calm. guaranteeing that that kid's going to turn out. Yeah. Airbending. Now you need to master real airbending. Yep. Hopefully our visit to all of the air temples will give you the inspiration. Okay, so we're going for the spiritual we're aspect. Leaving. But they're leaving. They're going to the air. We're going temples. on a trip. An adventure. Okay. Interesting. We're going to have a wonderful time. When do they get their tattoos? When they become masters. Interesting. Okay. Aang was the youngest master ever. Okay. All right. Very cool. Maybe I'll tag along just to see Vacation Tenzin. Oh, no. Before we go on your dad's study trip, we're going to have some real fun in my hometown. Study trip. Study trip. Spirits Festival. Yum. All right. I'm glad they're leaving Republic City. Mm -hmm. And you can't stop me from going to the festival. Mom already invited me. <laughs> oh, I love that he has a sibling now. That's fantastic. I want to see Katara put the both in their place. Yes. Aww. Looks like you had some car trouble. Good thing the police are here. Did oh, you God. That beforehand? Yeah, I had a few others. Looks like you guys should put more try and try at. Or oh, no. When you get to jail, tell them Mako sent you. Ooh, oh, like God. That. Okay. Girl. Is that next time? No, it's 2020. We don't do this for men. No. All I do is train all day. We'll make him it's a detective like soon. Totally okay. How I beat Amon. That is true. You become the best avatar you can be. Okay. Of course you take his side. I'm not taking his side. I'm just. I'm gonna take a walk. What's going on? That went so fast. That. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Naga's like. Where's this the thing? communication? One conversation with my girlfriend. Oh no. That's not a good sign. So trouble in the and relationship they, it's has been, been on the screen for maybe 20 seconds. Right? And, and it's already, already bad. Encountering an issue. I mean, and he's talking about it like it's a frequent thing. Like he's like, oh, I can't even, I can never talk yeah. to her. Yeah. I realized that as much as at the end of uh, season one of Korra, we were like, oh my God, Korra and Mako, they're perfect. Like it might have <laughs> been a little bit blinding lights of doing huge heroic acts for each other mm -hmm. that made me not see that like personality wise, Mako, Mako just isn't a, well, now always being emotionally available and core is not emotionally available i mean like they're they just, just can't time it up yeah, quite right it's just not timing right now oh aunt kaya another one enough. of the children he's probably scared i'll beat him up like when we were kids i'm not scared of is you she a bender anymore <laughs> So Kai is the oldest, Sir, I think. I hope you're not that makes sense. Uh, no, I, um, I, yes. She's the avatar? I will be doing that. <laughs> wow. 
wow, look at all these people that came out to greet yes. us. Yes, I thought he didn't come. Uh, I was so no. sorry. <laughs> is Asami them. with them? Oh, is this the Northern Water Tribe, maybe? The great chief of the Northern Water Tribe comes to grace us with his presence. Hooray. That's the thing. I always feel like it's like Southern Water Tribe is like nice and like there's a deep cultural root. And then you go to Northern Water Tribe, it seems like everything's ornate and beautiful. I mean, the last we saw of it was an avatar. Interesting. And it really does seem like they're a little bit more uppity. Mm, like, I mean, okay. UA came from there. They have a whole like monarchy. Whereas like, I don't think the Southern Water Tribe has like a king and queen. I think we're about to see some rivalry. A juxtaposition. A juxtaposition of two opposing forces from different walks of life that share certain traditions but not others it's gonna be cool yeah <laughs> the college student jumped out yes absolutely the college theater analyze, analysis i use it and i'm not a theater major <laughs> bird whoa who are they fantastic eyeshadow that's esco and desna the chief's children desna is a guy oh no sure i knew that Oh, and which one is Desna? All right, Bolin. <laughs> Good to see you again. He said, I don't mind. Good to said, see you too. Tom Rock, brother. Oh, they're brothers. And they were roommates. God, they were roommates. Wow. Okay, so not only- They seem like they so get maybe, along. So maybe it's not a cultural thing. It could just be that they're brothers. Yeah. But do you see what I'm talking about a there's little a bit? Very, there's a big difference in vibe yeah, that's it, happening it, right yes, now. Yes. It, yeah. it's, it's Southern and Northern, I feel like, definitely going to have mm -hmm. their intricacies. It's going to be cool to see that. Well, yeah. No, it's going to be- They're going to be different, obviously. I'm excited to see what the differences are. The yeah. yeah. Oh, it said Southern. Yeah. I've always loved the Glacier Spirits Festival. It's fun. This festival used to be a solemn time of fasting and meditation. Now it's just a chance to watch some rube try to stick an entire Arctic hen in his mouth. <laughs> okay, so it's kind of lost the tradition and yeah. meaning. Or no, it's just changed yeah. to be less serious. I think it's a bit like Christmas. Some yeah, it makes sense. Wait, oh. spirits are attacking ships? Oh. I'm surprised the Avatar doesn't know about that. Okay, so the spirits are talking. Why the aren't they telling the Avatar everything? To instruct you in the spiritual ways of the Water Tribe. Hey. I wouldn't mind learning about fighting spirits. We need a teacher. Airbending is getting pretty boring. Tenzin is Korra's instructor. He can give her all the training she needs. Wait, that was so mean to say right in front of Tenzin. Yeah. Yeah, this guy's class is so boring. <laughs> yeah, so this guy sucks. <laughs> Terrible teacher. Point blank. Didn't even they... save it for the teacher evaluations. He didn't, he didn't, she didn't even introduce him as a teacher. She just said outright, yeah, airbending sucks. There was a line back there about like, there's a reason why some traditions happen. So maybe this mm -hmm. guy thinks that the deviation from certain traditions is what's angering the spirits and making them attract. Right. It's, yeah, it's that deviation is the cause of the issues with the spirit world right now. It's interesting that Korra wasn't informed. I'm wondering why. Why? Why do you think? I think because she's so young and impulsive that they don't, and they don't quite trust her with anything spirit world related. Oh, Sammy's here. Queen. Oh, she's so beautiful. That's going to be tough. Okay, so who's this person? Somebody who's going to help Sato, like, industries? Did you see that? With a cool cape robe. Oh no. Wait, so they're all. Wait, what? Did, did... What? I couldn't tell if he actually did that. Man, this is nice. I wasn't really looking, but. I feel like I would have noticed. Yeah, he's not going anywhere. What? He's on the Why ground. He... Oh, maybe he's that? rich, has been practicing something, and they're all lying to him the because they are all on his payroll. Yeah. Or it's like an emperor's new clothes situation. Oh, he said it. Yikes. What part of don't talk? I wasn't levitating? No, shut up, Bolin. Well, why didn't anyone tell me? Now I look like an idiot! Oh, no. Swami, you're fired! Wait, maybe he's gonna appreciate Bolin shooting him straight up the stairs back. He's a real straight shooter, just like me. Miss Sato, he's with you? I just said it word for word, just Tiger shark with you to do business, huh? Now that's Moxie! <laughs> Get over here and pop a swap. What does brought your tiger shark with you mean or imply? As you know, like, Future Industries is looking for a partner to handle our Like Shark Tank, like but your first, business, you like Shark. Oh, I see. Moving pictures. Julie, do the thing. Okay. You're gonna love this. Wow. All right, that's pretty cool. Oh, and that's- right? 
You know what that is? That's a callback to like the origin of film, I think. Oh, interesting. Where they wanted to see whether a horse could gallop. Wait, you're so right. With yeah. all feet off the ground at mm -hmm. the same time. That's kind of cool. Mm -hmm. Now, forget that. That's the path. Shut it off, Julie. Imagine watching this. Ginger, come over here. Julie Ginger, sounds like Judy. <gasps> Marilyn Monroe type character. <laughs> Who are you? Who is this? And we tell a story. There's romance, action. What's her name? Why haven't we heard of her? Go rest your gams. Ginger. How about that, Tiger Shark? We're gonna do big business with these movers, as I call them. Okay, but I'm just concentrating on getting future industries back on track. If we could hammer out a deal. Stop. Look me in the eye. Oh boy. Oh boy. We got a deal! Yeah! What the heck is happening? This guy's we'll weird. The royal feast tonight. Now, That's not how deals the work. Yeah! The heck is happening? Super weird energy. No. You oh. are a natural assistant. Oh. Basami? Okay. You are not ruffles his hair. I mean, all right, come all right, on, all right. Um, so what do we think of that businessman? Um, kind of chaotic vibes. Very chaotic. Weird energy. Something. <laughs> Something's up with that. Um, yeah. I mean, like Asami seemed happy with how that deal went, so like, good for her. I'm glad. Very happy with Bolin. Yeah. Ooh. I mean, Bolin low key like kind of made that happen. Yeah. Um, but, surprisingly. And they had a little hug at the end. It could just be friendly. Could we, just be we, friendly. Not everything's a relationship. That's true. I like each other. No, 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 no. <laughs> We tend to kind of look at it that way, but we did okay, talk the about hair Bolin and like, Asami. That was like, a little bit. There was some, they animated there was, that. There's a reason we were I both like, I don't see them together, but then again, I feel like they could also be perfect if they gave it a chance. Yeah. Himbos are pretty compatible with everyone just because they're yeah, unoffensive. Yeah, I'm, I'm living proof of that. Stop. Thank you. This is nothing. When this festival was founded, the tribal elders would commune with the spirits. People would mm. watch the brilliant displays of light as spirits danced in the sky. Oh, I've never seen that. And that is a shame, since the Avatar is the bridge between the material world and the spirits. Maybe that's why Korra has such a hard time connecting to the spirit world, is that society itself has distanced itself so much from the spirit world. That, so it's like out of their day-to-day -day life, like they don't think about it. Yeah, because I think the reason why Aang was so easily able to do it is because every facet of his life had to do with it. So conversely, it does make sense that Korra was the anti-spiritual avatar because she had all of the spiritual events in her life sort of like cut down a bit. So I feel like this could be a worthwhile interaction, but the way they're framing it is a little bit like forbidden fruit knowledge you know what i mean interesting like he's gonna learn like he's gonna be like and there's this one hill the special hill of spirituality <laughs> where i went da 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 and then she's gonna go there and something bad's gonna happen you know what i mean interesting that is why i want so badly to teach you to help you fulfill your destiny i thought i had made it clear that tenzin is teaching her every avatar before you traveled the world to learn it was tenzin mm -hmm. and your father who kept you secluded at the south pole i thought ang ordered the white lotus to keep me down here we all oh. did what we thought was best for you oh ang Ang didn't train with should be wow my decision, Dad. wow or tenzin. every other avatar hasn't done that like what what made them do this unprecedented thing of secluding the avatar because she was so powerful at such a young age i don't know there kind hasn't of... been an avatar that hasn't traveled the world he Tenzin's had... so like the avatar does this the avatar does that i feel like there's got to be something saying yo keep her in a box you know mm, interesting it could be that she was powerful but i mean like so roku was really powerful when he started his avatar training looks like someone's trying to take your place as the avatar stick in the mud mentor boomy don't pick on tenzin you know he's always been sensitive I'm not sensitive. <laughs> oh, I kind of like this. They're cute. Oh. Which was founded to bring our tribes together and restore the ancient balance between our world and that of the spirits. How many times is he going to talk about it? I am saddened to see what it has become. Again? Like, we get it. <laughs> it's greedy and trivial humans. I fear the time is fast approaching when the North can no longer stand idly by while our southern brothers slip into total spiritual decay. Oh no. Angry spirits are already hmm. attacking ships in your waters. I only hope we are not too late. This seems like a power course. grab. Oh boy. Chief Oodalock, everybody. Always great to have him in town. Now, let's have some fun with Wacky Wushu's dancing otter penguins. 
Okay. All right. Honor penguins? Otter. Oh, penguins. otter penguins. I thought it was a... You know, it'd be like a Zuko joke. I don't oh know. Oh, my God. Honor penguin. Stop. Okay, maybe you're right. Gross. They're, yeah, so Boland's kind of not a fan. Third wheel. Oh, I so I dig the eyeliner. Make him a move. You got this, King. Good luck. Those two have always creeped me out. They smell like a grandma's attic. Hey, oh God. I'm Boland, my friend of Cora's. You're uh, Eska, right? Wow, I'm just I'm loving these robes. Oh, did they just oh, hiss at okay. him? Did they just so, hiss? Vibes. Like, right? That's like, you know, that's like my favorite direction. I think he is trying to establish some kind of bond with you based on your geographic point of origin. Perhaps it would be interesting to spend oh. time with a person whose ways are so rough and uncultured. Oh my. Is that April? I will make you mine. It is the voice. Yes. It's the voice of April, right? Yeah. That's funny. That's the voice of April. I love that. That's hilarious. <laughs> so that's Audrey Plaza. Yeah. Fantastic. Wow. I love her. her Great addition. Everything about her. Yeah. And of course, they have the character kind of having the, her she's trademark like, like quite the typecast. Yeah. This suit makes me want to scold a Catholic child. I don't know who Ann Taylor is, but I hate her and I want to kill her. Yeah. She kind of makes <laughs> this play herself. You mean like a boyfriend or like a slave? Yes. Uh, this is and the creepy. brother just comes and hangs out. Kind of weird. Is okay. that Aang? That's weird. That's just a little unsettling. Sounds good. What does Tenzin think? Tenzin thinks I'm his prisoner. One of his kids. She can't use Avatar State on this. We have a winner! Oh, I thought you were So you're just allowed to use powers in a fair... Look! Oh. Now they both have Appa plushies. Job to fix it, but my dad won't even let me think about Unalak teaching me. He's very well, handsome. Well, what? What do you think I should do? I guess you should do what you think is right. Oh no! Helpful, bud. Whatever thank you. you make. Bad oh, answer. Thanks. That's a big help. Yeah, so you that's nothing. Be supportive. Now you want me to tell you what I think? Make up your mind. Okay, that's just wrong. Like, boyfriending 101, when somebody says, what do you think? They're asking, what do you think? And then if they want you to be supportive generally, that means- They'll just tell you. Yes, the, yeah. the, the, the solution is be supportive most of the time, but when somebody directly says, what do you think? you That means they're asking what you think. Yeah, so- That doesn't mean give me nothing. Do better, Marco. Yes, okay. King with the emotional manipulation. <laughs> so, more trouble between Mako and Korra. Ooh. Oh, it's looking spoopy. Ugh. Naga, what are you doing? Naga, hush. Oh, boy. She What's going on, honey? Is she seeing something spiritual? I'm just upset. Oh no. oh no. Oh no. A spirit creature. I don't like No, it. don't fight, Naga. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my, oh my god. What? Why is it doing that? Um What the hell is this? This is big. That's crazy. very scary. That's very scary. That's fast um that's quite terrifying. It's already immobilized. I her? don't like that at all. Wow. There okay. So it's just all right. the bend. Alright. Well, it can just hop and run around. Oh, wow. It's like the hey by. They yeah. can do any. Nothing has been stopped that's been spiritual in the real world. Like any beast. Well, in the can whole it series. just go back to the spirit world if yeah. things start to go bad for it? Like, it's kind of an undefeatable yeah. entity. Wow. That's so scary. It's her dad. With the ice wall. Can we just ice wall it in? That's cool. Oh, make, make a little, a little ice cage. Maybe? Okay, cool. Dope. Nope. Not gonna work. Oh, spirit realm. Yeah. I don't really know if that's gonna do anything. Yeah. How are they okay after this? No. But he went like that was ice that he ran into that is or true. was thrown into. There we go. Spirit, why are you angry with us? What have we done to offend you? It's gonna punch him right in the face. Wait, so we had the option to just ask it what was wrong? <laughs> So basically, um, what I was thinking of was, um, oh fuck, I can't believe you've done this. Well, that's what Aang would do. That's what he did with the Heibai. He but that didn't go well. Okay, oh, Avatar State Avatar time. State. Cool. Oh, she that's can just so dope it. every time. This is when you use the Avatar yeah. State. 
And she's not even destroying the fair. She's just hitting the creature. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, oh no. Can't. If she but gets that, killed she in the avatar state. She can't get killed in the avatar state. Oh, yeah. Boy. What is it trying what to do? What even is this goblin creature? Whoa. Can he, like, oh? spirit bend? Oh? What is happening? Oh. No, he's tying into the spiritual aspect of he's doing something, something that is, like, making whoa. the spirit happy. I'm thinking, whoa. Okay, so this has something to do with his whole spirit thing. Whoa, yeah. We've never seen anything like this. No, this is very cool. Go in peace. What the? All right, so maybe we need to take him a little bit more seriously. Yeah. How are you able to control that spirit when no one else could? As your father could tell you, I've spent my life studying the spirits and learning their ways. All of this knowledge is lost in the South, but I could teach you everything I know. If Unalak, clearly you are very knowledgeable, but Korra still has much to learn about airbending, and I hope that going to the air temples will help her connect with the past avatars. <sighs> the air temples will teach her nothing. Only I can give her the training she needs to be a complete avatar. Oh, that's not what you want. Wow. You that will not happen. That's so mean to say right in front of Tenzin. Ask me what yeah. I think? Cora, please listen. I'm tired of listening to you. Both of you keep me locked up telling me you know what's best, but both oh, no. of you are powerless against the spirit attack. I think it's time I had a new teacher. Now, Cora. Unalak has proven he's the oh, only boy. one who knows what I need to learn. I have to go with him. Please. I know you're angry, but we've come so far together. I'm yeah. sorry, Tenzin. This is as far as we go. Oh, boy. Mm. That's really sad. She also didn't have to say it like that. You. Can you not just say, I'm going to teach a new... I'm going to get a Right? New like, that didn't now. have to be I'll like a breakup. That wasn't like, I'm never going to see you and your family who I've lived with. Like, you're my literal, like, spiritual Second son. father, yeah. Mother, I think I need some time alone with my family right now. This is your family, Tenzin. When you get to be my age, you'll be thankful for the time you had with your siblings. Besides, I think it's important that you all visit your father's He's gonna yell me here. Oh. Come on, it'll be fun. I'm dying to see that laid-back vacation, Tenzin, I've heard so much about. <laughs> all right, hop on. Oopie. Hop on. Oh. We'll see you soon. <laughs> Unalak, she's gonna go with Chief Unalak. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, so he kind of sowed the seeds of that whole thing because he was the one who told her that Tenzin and her dad were the ones that secluded her away. Yeah. He was the one, I think potentially, I don't like his vibes. Mm. I, I just am scared that he somehow like summoned that creature so that he could put it down in front of her. Yeah. Well, why didn't he say something beforehand? Like, why didn't he do something? He just happened to be right there, right in the nick of time and then make it go away instantaneously with, I don't even know what that was. It looked a little bit like the waterbending of the, of like Paku, like the slower mm -hmm. sort of like, almost when Iroh's explaining waterbending to Zuko. Yeah. Or, yeah. So she's going with him, but I, I, I don't like it. Mm -hmm. I'm not the biggest fan of it. What do you think? I don't know. I'm interested to see, cause she does need the help of the spirit world. And if he's being sincere then everything he's saying is true that is true so that could potentially like kim because he is a little bit too serious for me mm. but we're in a very serious situation yeah. when i saw that i was like oh shit like maybe we need to take what he's saying a bit more seriously mm. like it, yep. it seems like people have been kind of blowing him off and that just kind of proves that they shouldn't have been sweet baby mm -hmm. so are her friends going to come with her thing? I don't know. I'm sorry, but I'm not very good at this avatar counseling thing. But I know your heart is in the right place. You'll just All right. have to trust it. Okay. Okay. I know this was a hard decision, Cora, but it was the right one. Now it is time to put it behind you and begin your new training. I have great plans for you. Like, this music sounds scary. I, yeah. I have great plans for you? Come on. But it was also the ending credit. I just, I don't know. I don't want to jump on jump on it too fast. Yeah, that's, like that's fair. Could. That's fair. He does. He's not necessarily a bad guy just because he's serious. That is true. And because intense music plays yeah. when he comes on screen. Yeah. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll discuss it further. Uh, for now, make sure to like and subscribe down below if you enjoy that video i uh, want to see our journey through the rest of cora mm -hmm. and check out the patreon if you want early access to that the link is in the description uh for now where are we headed all right let's go to the episode verdict
before we get started, thank you for watching that video uh, and make sure to uh, tune in this Thursday for the next video. If you want to ask us questions at the end of the video, make sure you join the Patreon at any level. The link is in the description. And now to the first question from Blue Eyed Raven. I would love to know, what are your first impressions of Varric, the eccentric businessman? Okay, he was the guy levitating, but not levitating. Yeah, the guy fully not moving like, yeah. did you see that? I was a foot mm -hmm. off the ground. Mm -hmm. Okay, the implications of being powerful and strong and rich and well-liked enough to have a group of people do that for you, it's impressive. I'm interested to, or kind of well, scary impressive. It's just yeah. notable. So I'm interested to see kind of where he got that power Power, what kind of person he is because I was expecting him to go off on Bolin. I thought he was going to be so upset. I thought it was going to be like this whole thing. And then it just wasn't. If anything, I mean, Bolin actually shot him straight. Because exactly. that's the thing. People who have that amount of power, eventually people just start lying to them to get in their favor. So Yeah. So he must be incredibly powerful for that to be the case. My impression of him, I think that uh, he seems kind of cool. Like, uh, I mean, quirky is weird, but we're used to those kind of people. Like, remember Doc and Shu? It gives yeah. me sort of that vibe. Interesting. And, I mean, okay. I, it seems like in this first episode, we're seeing a lot more of the humor mm -hmm. of uh, the original Avatar, which I, I think they probably had that at the beginning of Korra season one, but for the last like six episodes, it was just kind of straight plot. So they didn't really have time for jokes really, besides like Bolin occasionally. I, I like that he adds the comedic value. I'm excited to see his character explored more. So this is a question from Ben. How do you feel about Korra's use of the Avatar state? Super good question. Yeah, that's a great question. When she uses it to win the competition, uh, yeah. like the little, the air scooter thing, it, it seems like your my gut instinct is, ooh, that's not good because like we haven't seen anybody use it like that. But also like I could see it almost being a breakaway from the dogmatic ways of the Avatar. Like it, it seems like there's these limiting things that are there for no reason. Like uh, her using the Avatar state, if anything, that's just going to make her more comfortable with the Avatar state and be able to use it in situations where it's needed. We saw that at the end of the episode where she just flipped into the, the avatar state, take on the spirit creature, and it, it didn't do really anything. It didn't go great for her. But I like her usage of it because I think that, I mean, I think potentially it could lead us down the path of, well, she's just going to keep using it irresponsibly and then she's going to get hurt while she's in the state and something's going to happen. Okay, so just like off the cuff, it seems really power hungry and yeah. like kind of sketchy and like she's, it, it seems like an abuse of power. It really, really comes across as an abuse of power. Mm -hmm. However, the more I think about it, the more I'm like, what's the harm? Yeah, what's the harm? What's really the harm? you gonna run out of Avatar juice? Because I don't really get the sense that Korra is this power-hungry individual who is going to, like, suddenly gain this, like, unprecedented power. Yeah, and, no. like, she already can bend all four elements. Like, if she were going to go off the rails and become a crazy person who, like, craved power and, like, was willing to do anything for it, she already has the yeah. tools to do that. So, so I hadn't thought about your take on, well, if something happens to her in the Avatar state, when she then got like- up, we both were like, she can't die during the Avatar exactly, state. Exactly, like, exactly. But then again, I feel like that situation could only really happen if she's in the Avatar state for a fight. Like, it's not like she would be like scootering with the kids. What if she got like ambushed? That, okay, that's what I, mean. that's what I was thinking. Uh, exactly. All right, this question comes from Corey Porter. What do you think of the depiction of the Northern and Southern tribes relationship development since the original series? Interesting. Very good question. I think the difference in the spirituality is a very cool kind of difference that they're pointing out. And it's going to be really interesting with this book being about spirits and having all of this kind of build up from season one about Korra not having access to the spirit world and now finally having access to the spirit world. Mm -hmm. So I think having that kind of, it's like a separate separate storyline, but it also isn't. Like, it's going to be giving us information about Korra and what she's going through throughout the adventures and yeah. throughout what happens. So I think that's a really cool idea plot-wise. I'm really interested to see kind of how the modernization and the, like, making it fun, like, the festivals being more about, like, enjoyment and togetherness yeah. rather than the spirits themselves. I'm interested to see how that's affected the spirit world. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Maybe this is their response to the notion of, like, why are they all just punching with their elements? Elements. Like, why mm. is it all just jabs and shooting and boom? Like, it's not as much the, like, for lightning bending, we don't see the big circular motion into the, like, it, maybe the disconnect of, like, the bending styles 
which also was connected to the spiritual realm and all these events. It's all culminating in the spirit world being like, you guys have just lost your connection to us mm. in pursuit of this modern sort of aesthetic and technology, which does make sense. I think that's a super interesting topic to explore. What do we think of Unalak and his sort of his mentality and what he's gonna do. I have not really gotten a vibe either way. I have, so this is the most like cop out answer, but I haven't really gotten a solid sense either way. Like I've gotten signs and impressions and vibes that he could be a bad guy mm -hmm. or just like a really serious teacher yeah. and potentially a really great addition for Korra. So I don't know. I'm not ready to do a full, <laughs> yeah, I, 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 a full statement just because I feel like I don't know. But first impression is be careful because yeah. this guy could either be a villain or could potentially be a really beneficial resource. Yeah, that is true. I'm just, a, I'm wary. We'll see. Yeah. There's a reason why I think her dad was so apprehensive to him being the way he is. Then the other aspect is that her dad has always been very, not controlling, but has always like kept her at home, right? Like, mm. so Tenzin and her dad have always been very kind of controlling and planned everything mm. out for her and didn't really ever like include her opinions on stuff. So I can see why she is not quite as likely to take their opinions into account when finding this new teacher. Mm -hmm. So uh, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe on the video. We will be releasing the next episode on Thursday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, so be on the lookout for that. Check out the Patreon link in the description for early access to episodes, and I'm super excited for next episode. How are you feeling? I'm excited too. I think it's going to be great. All right, let's get it. Let's go.